ear down, I didn't feel anything. It was like I was looking at my body, but I wasn't in it. And I, I knew right then and there, Tommy, you're hurt bad, brother. You're hurt bad. Imagine a career-ending injury happening in the blink of an eye, all due to one simple mistake. This is the mostly unknown story of how Tommy Rich cost referee Tommy Young his career and changed his life forever. The match took place between Mike Rotunda and Tommy Rich. Mike Rotunda, also known as IRS in the WWF and the father of Bray Wyatt. Tommy Rich, known for his short stint as NWA World Champion in the early 80s and nicknamed Wildfire. Flair was the booker with Ole Anderson advising him and Cornette as the assistant booker. The plan was for Rotunda to throw Rich over the top rope and for Tommy Young to be facing the other way so he wouldn't see the illegal move by Rotunda. Tunda. Tommy Young, the referee, had worked with both wrestlers multiple times and was familiar with their styles, but a misstep by Tommy Rich would lead to a horrific injury. During the match, Tommy Young would try to separate Tommy Rich and Mike Rotunda. Rich was supposed to brush Young off, allowing Rotunda to throw Rich over the top rope, with Young looking in the opposite direction so he wouldn't see the illegal maneuver. Rich raised his foot and tripped Young as he was walking forwards. After the brush off, Young trying to protect his face missed the ropes and took the middle rope right between the eyes, jamming everything backwards. The impact was so severe that Young immediately knew he was seriously hurt. He couldn't feel anything from the neck down and was lying there unable to move. What was supposed to happen? I was just supposed to lose my balance a little bit, fall up against the ropes. Tommy charges Mike. Mike dumps him over the top rope, backdrops him over the top rope. I turn around, it already happened, I didn't see it. It was a spot, it wasn't even the finish. While the match continued behind him, this was the moment his career changed forever. The seconds after an accident like this are crucial. What happened in the moments following Tommy Young's fall? As Young lay motionless except for lifting his head up off the mat, the wrestlers and officials started realizing something was wrong. Mike Rotunda noticed Tommy Young hadn't got back up and went over to check on him, but before doing so, Mike Rotunda kicked Tommy Young in the ass. When Mike Rotunda did go over to Tommy Young and rolled him over no less, Tommy Young told him he couldn't feel anything from the neck down. Nick Patrick and Mike Atkins came to the assist, rolling Young over to the apron. The feeling did start to return, but Young was seriously injured. Ric Flair came down along with the refs to check on Tommy Young. He told Ric Flair, champ, I'm hurt bad. As they tried to help Young to the back and seeing if he could hold his own weight, he started to collapse to the ground, but luckily they caught him. They didn't have a doctor in the building, just a chiropractor. The chiropractor told them Tommy Young was hurt bad and needed an ambulance immediately. Once the EMTs show up, they see Young walking to meet them and tell him to stop moving. Young says he can walk to the ambulance and has been moving around while waiting. They said you should have never been moved at all. They make him lay down on the stretcher and strap him in. Young had to have surgery and they removed the protective vertebrae covering his spine, making him vulnerable to becoming a quadriplegic with one wrong move. Young had a very physical style as a referee. See the little tapping? Can you see that on your camera? That little tapping is shooting a jolt through my legs right now. The impact of the injury doesn't just stop in the ring. Young's struggles were just beginning. Tommy Young faced a tough decision. Sue the individuals involved or go through workman's comp. He chose the latter, but was limited to Georgia's laws. He received only $48,000, and after his attorney's fees, he only got $36,000. Young thought about suing Rich, but his attorney talked him out of it because Tommy Rich really didn't have anything to give. He thought about suing Ric Flair, but also it wasn't his fault. He did take action against the building because early in the match the lights had flickered. Tommy Young did end up receiving about $3,600 from the building of a total of about $40,000. This is a fraction of what he would have earned. This happened in November of 1989, and Tommy Young was set to make about $65,000 that year. The injury not only ended his career, but also caused substantial financial hardship. Young estimated that he lost around three quarters of a million dollars in potential earnings. Despite this, he remained grateful for his career and accepted the risks involved in wrestling. Tommy Young's story is a stark reminder of the physical and financial risks wrestlers and referees face. His injury caused by a moment of carelessness not only ended Tommy Young's career, but also highlighted the harsh realities of the wrestling industry. If you enjoyed this video, check out the time that Big Van Vader started a riot in New Japan Pro Wrestling. You can find it right here.